Well, Keenan, there is really no clear guidance from the state on this yet. Ultimately, districts make the decision on when to call snow days. However, snow day student accounting, that is generally tied to state funding. So it's important for districts that they don't go over their days. Right now, with the online learning and some of the unprecedented situations so many districts are facing this fall, snow days, it's kind of a mixed bag. In the Woodhaven Brownstown School District, about 60% of students are learning face to face and a snow day this year, says Superintendent Mark Greathead, could mean those learning in person just shift to remote learning for a day. We would have to prepare for that. And I don't I don't believe we're prepared for that right now. In a typical snow day, uh, we're watching the forecasts three, four, sometimes five days in, in advance. So it's rare that a snow day uh, sneaks up on us. Students in the Rochester Community School District, which spans 66 square miles and two counties, are also learning online. The district, too, is still deciding its snow day plans. As for virtual learning, the superintendent says, I think it leaves us another tool in the toolbox, depending on and what the uh, what the weather event looks like. If we're, if we're going to shift to remote and be able to, to count the day as in, the, in our normal uh, our normal normal pupil count, that's that's one circumstance. We asked our Channel 7 viewers who are also parents. Ed says if children can have class from home because of the pandemic, then the same can be done for snow days. Jennifer writes, if teachers are still required to come to the school building to hold class and weather affects their drive, then snow days should still exist. At the Great Lakes Learning Academy, a totally online charter school, teachers do just that. They instruct from a building in East Lansing. But Superintendent Heather Belline says if weather affects their commute, they're equipped to work from home too. At the end of the year, I don't have to worry about how many forgiveness days did we use uh, because we haven't used any over the last seven years. All right, so Jen, uh, the key issue here is uh, the accounting issues. When do we expect the state to decide on student accounting for these snow days? Well, I spoke to a state representative very familiar with this issue last night. He expects that decision ultimately will be made within the next month or so, possibly earlier. Now, in the state's return to learn plan, there was initially a limit on snow days in part due to virtual learning, but that part of the bill was taken out and not included in the version that actually passed. So still a lot of unknowns here and something we will be following very closely. Reporting live this morning, Jen Chance, 7 Action News.